guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I am somewhere else. I'm actually on holiday. So I thought I would share with you what I take on holiday with me and what I've packed. Um, I'm thinking of doing a video all on my outfits and stuff. So you will see those in another video, but I'm gonna go mainly through my beauty stuff. But before we move on to that, I thought I would show you that I use these packing cubes. Uh, from Ikea. Um, this was all one set and I think it was about five pounds. It's really not that expensive but I put like underwear and swimming stuff and socks and pants and all crap like that in that one um, and then it comes with one that's double-sided so I put bottoms and then like play suits and dresses in this one and then they have like a smaller one-sided one which is where sort of my t-shirts and crop tops and sort of more comfy clothes go into. I also thought that I'd share that I, whenever I pack, I tend to pack things into bags, like everything into bags. So for example, here is my sort of camera equipment stuff, and that's all in sort of its own little bag, just so everything's sort of separate, and I know where everything is, and I just think it helps the packing process, and particularly with the packing cubes, I think it helps. Um, if you have a whole suitcase, you've got like, oh, I can fit it all into this, but if you have like a certain, surface area that you have to pack into i think it makes you pack more efficiently so i would recommend these um in regards to cameras i bought four cameras with me i bought this one i bought my vlogging one i bought a gopro and i bought a film camera so uh that's what camera wise i've got um i've also got my carry-on here this is what i take with me this is my four even kanken um i really like this backpack not only because it's super hip but, but also I think it's waterproof and it's really sturdy. And it's got a pocket in the back for your laptop, which I have brought with me. Um, also for like entertainment, I've got my iPad. I've got a crisscross jumbo. This is just like Jigger Links or the ones where you have to like match words and letters up together. Um, they're my favorite puzzle. So I bought a whole puzzle book. I bought Where She Went, which is the sequel to the book If I Stay, which I loved. And this is from the point of view of the boyfriend like a couple years later. And then I also bought Brighton Brock to, you know, <laughs> for a bit of a stark contrast, one about uh, murder and one about teenage love. So yeah, that's book-wise what I brought with me. I bought two pairs of sunglasses. I bought my Ray-Bans. And I've also bought, there is there, I can't remember to go get them. Um, I also got some big circle ones, which I got from New Look. Um, also bought my DS, my purse, my diary, all my chargers. I bought my skull candies, uh, both types of skull candies, depending on what I want to do. And I bought my iPod as well. So I think that's all my entertainment stuff to keep myself nice and preoccupied for the summer holiday. But anyway, moving on to beauty bits. Um, as I said, I like to pack everything in cases. So I have actually got quite a few of them. So actually I've already had a shower, spoiler alert. So I've got a few things that are already out of their cases um, and I didn't want to put them back in because it's, they're all wet. Um, I bought some body wash. This is one that I got from, I think, Birchbox ages ago. Um, and if I don't use it all up, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I've got my Lush shampoo bar. Um, I like to, this is the Scenic one, which is the volumizing one. I do quite like this, actually. Um, I like using this because it's one less thing to spill and it lasts ages. Um, I've also got a hair mask. This is the Bleach London Reincarnation Mask. I've got some Lanocaine, which is for those of us who don't have thigh gaps. Um, deodorant, because deodorant. Uh, I've got a small Lizzo cleanse and polish. I've got some perfume. This is the uh, YSL Manifesto, which is in a cute little thing like this. Um, and I've also got my Venus Snap Razor, which uh, I used for the first time today, and it's pretty genius. I do like it. Um, okay, so moving on to this one because there's not a lot in here. This is aerosols. Um, this is also from Ikea, but a different sort of set of stuff. I've got my Laurent Posé Cero Zinc. I brought this with me because I just knew I'd want something to sort of spray myself when it's really, really hot. And also, you know, why not fight acne at the same time? And I've also got my SPF of choice for your body, which is the Garnier Ambassade Dry Mist. And this is SPF 50, but I believe they do it in 20 and 30 as well. Um, this is just, hang on, I'll show you. You've got to shake it and you sort of just spray it on and it doesn't leave a white cast or anything and it just, you know, 
does its thing. So love that. Next up, I've got this one here. Uh, this is my brush case. Um, if you buy a brush set from Zoeva, they tend to give you these. Otherwise, I'll just use like a flat pencil case. But I've got all my makeup brushes and my curlers in here. And the reason I keep these separate is it just leaves more room for your makeup bag, which is mine here. The two things that I don't have in here, which are makeup related, are the eyeshadow palettes that I bought with me. I chose to bring the Lorac Pro 2, uh, which looks a little something like this. And I also bought the Lime Crime Venus because both of these, I think, uh, this is sort of like a neutral palette. Um, and this one sort of has like pops of color. So I think these are a good combination. Um, I've also got my tattoo liner, which I didn't put back in because I just put it on my face. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, let's get cracking into what I decided to pack with me. Um, I've got some eyelashes. These are the Eyelaw number 70 pre-glued ones, just in case I fancy getting really fancy. Um, I've got two bases with me. I've got the Holica Holica Sweet Cotton Pure Cover BB, which has SPF 30, and I've also got the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, which is also SPF 30, depending how much coverage I want. This one's super light and just very natural. And this one also is, it's quite pigmented, but it's also light and nice on the skin. And yeah, so I'm loving both of those at the moment. So I decided to bring those with me. I just realized that you can probably hear all those fucking seagulls. Those seagulls are so fucking loud, aren't they? Sorry, my boyfriend sat outside and is just like lolling at all the seagulls being out there. Anyway, so moving on to concealers, I have the Clarins Instant Concealer and that's sort of for spots or any sort of blemishes or discoloration that I want to cover up. And then my next three, that's right, three concealers are for my under eye circles. I first of all got the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I am in the shade Porcelain Bisque. Oh, and by the way, I'm in the shade uh, one in Instant Concealer. I've got the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye and I'm in the lightish, I'm in light in that one. And I've also got somewhere in here, a L'Oreal Cream Highlighter as well. Yes, here we go. This is the Touche Magique Tree Match Concealer by L'Oreal, which is sort of kind of like a touche clair type thing. And I'm also in the lighter shade in that one, which is, I think, W12. Yes, it is. Cool, let's move on to powders, shall we? I brought along the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I mentioned this in my favorites video and I'm still loving it. I did also bring along another face powder because obviously the climate here, I'm in Portugal by the way, um, is a lot hotter. So I wanted to bring something that would um, be more mattifying than sort of a highlighting powder. And I chose to bring the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. Um, I am in the shade Beige Claire, number 53 in this one. And this is just a really nice powder. Um, I'm not that expensive either. For other powder products, I've got the Mineralize Skin Finishes Stereos by MAC, which is just a really nice, pretty rose color. Unfortunately, this is limited edition, but I love it. I love it, it's my fave. Um, and I also bought the Honey Bronzer by Body Shop, and I'm in shade number one. Oh, I've got two face primers with me, which I forgot to mention. I've got the Infallible Mattifying Base by L'Oreal, and I've got a teeny tiny Professional from Benefit. Moving on to brows, I've got the Ico Brow Gel. I believe this only comes in one shade. And I've also got the R Treat DIY Brow Bar by Soap and Glory, and I'm really enjoying using both those together at the moment. For my last couple of eye products, I've got the Painterly Paint Bot by MAC as my sort of eyeshadow base. And for mascara, I've got the Miss Mango Punky Mascara. I've got a few lip bits. First of all, I've got a lip scrub. This is the Sugar Lip Polish. And I've also got a lip balm. This was the only one I could find of mine that has SPF in, and this is the Rodial Glam Balm Lip. Was it Glam Balm Lip? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, that's got an SPF of 15 in it. I've also got three lip choices. I've got the Rouge Edition Velvet in Pink Pong by Bourjois, which is what's on my lips right now. For a nude option, I've got the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in Nudist by Soap and Glory. The reason I bought this one is because I bought liquid lipsticks because they're already melted, but I bought this one because it, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a little bit gross anyway, so I wouldn't mind so much if it got ruined in the heat. Um, and I also got the Sephora Lip Cream in number one, which I believe is called Always Red. But yeah, that's all my makeup done. But obviously I've got a few skincare and hair care bits, which I thought I'd go through with you. Um, I've got two things here. This one is sort of full of smaller sample things that, um, so obviously I can just take the bag back. And then I've got this here, which has got all my big bits in like SPF and stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with this one. I've got my day moisturizer, which has a high SPF in it. This is the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defense, and this has an SPF of 50, and I love it. Um, I also brought along the Sun Shield Super Fluid by 
so from Glory because I'm recently trying this out, so I thought I'd give this a go and bring it along. Um, for night time, I'm popping on the Ethical Duo Plus because this is quite light because it's so hot here at night, I don't want my face feeling like it's gonna melt off because I've got so much goo on it. So I brought that one along with me. I've also brought an eye cream. This is the Boots Botanics Radiant Youth Eye Cream. Um, I have no opinions on it at the moment. I've literally just started using it. Uh, have I got any other skincare bits? Oh, I've got two samples of serums because I didn't want to bring my big serum bottle with me. I've got the Vichy Adelia Serum and I've got the Caudalie Polyphenol Serum as well. Oh, I've got a piece of makeup in here. <laughs> this is the uh, Luna Cream Color Base Highlighter. Don't know why that's in there. Um, I've got a couple nail bits in here because I painted my nails whilst I was here. Um, I've got my base coat, which is the Orly Bonda. I bought a colour, and this is the YSL nail polish in, I think it's called Dada. It doesn't say the name. I'm pretty sure it's called Dada. Oh, there it is, Rouge Dada, which is number six. And I bought Sesh Feet as well. So they dried nice and quickly, and if you're wondering, that is what's on my nails right now. Um, I've got a few hair bits in here. I've got a bunch of clear hair bands in here and they're kept together on a Kobe grip. Oh, I've snagged my nail. Brilliant. I've also got a couple of sample things from Living Proof in... Hang on! Right, so I've got the Living Proof Instant Texture Volumizer, I've got the Prime Style Extender and I've got the Hair Satin Serum and they are all from uh, Living Proof. And I've also got the Cool Fix um, Lumps and Bumps thing because I'm shaving a lot more than I would at home. And finally, onto the big one. This is mainly SPF stuff because I love being pale. I've got some face pads and I've got some Bioderma to cut it into a little bottle. Um, I've got some hairspray. This again is even proof and it's the Flex Shaping Hairspray. I've got a massive body butter after sun. This is by Hawaiian Tropic. Um, that smells really, really nice. Um, actually, it's kind of faded now, but I've dyed my hair recently with this stuff. It's the Rose Bleach Cool Color. Uh, so I thought I'd bring that along with me. Uh, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna use it. Um, I've got some hair bands and some hair clips because, because. And the last two things I've got, I've got another SPF. This is the Roche Posay Anthelios XL Oil, um, which is sort of makes your skin look nice and protects you from the sun and smells nice. And I've also got the Biafine, which is just in case anybody gets sunburned. Anyway, that is everything. My parents are at my door, so I need to go. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye. Ooh.